Hello, we've got three days left of our 40 days of habits and today I want to talk about the beauty of a finish line. So the beauty of a finish line is that it gets you started um, in today's day, um, day and age, in today's world of work. What we tend to find is that the work never ends. And often, yet if we wait for things to completely go away or to completely end, we don't find that finish line. So often what we have to do is, actually we're the ones who have to put the finish line in place. We're the ones who have to say, this is when I'm done for the day or done for the week or even done for the year um, or done on this particular project. So putting a finish line is really, really important. Um, especially when it comes to our habits, actually, because a lot of our habits are around things that we want to put in place kind of forever, you know, it's like actually there's not necessarily a finish line in terms of, oh, well, I'm going to sleep well for six weeks and then I'm not going to sleep well at all. You know, it's something we want to kind of continue. But even so, having a finish line helps us to get started. Why is that? I think it's because it gives us something concrete to commit to and it also puts a deadline in place. It puts some momentum, some impetus in place. So to give you an example, I was given these amazing vouchers um, uh, from, from some friends of mine um, as a thank you for um, referring some business to them a year ago. It was a year ago that I got these vouchers and there's an expiry date on the back, 13th of April. That's coming up really quickly. Um, and I managed to book my massage last week. No, in fact, it might have been the beginning of this week. Anyway, very, very close to the expiry date. And, and that's the yeah, the thing about an expiry date is sometimes we have things, we have good intentions, we have ideas and we go, oh yeah, I'd like to do that someday. And I've definitely been looking forward to using these for about a year, um, but it didn't happen until that expiry date was getting close and I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to do it now. And we stopped putting things off and that's what happens because we don't always intend to put things off, but life is busy, lots of things going on and sometimes there are just some things that can wait and therefore they do wait. And so the finish line helps us to put it back on the agenda to say actually this can't wait or I've decided this isn't going to wait. Um, and so that's how a finish line helps us to start. But a finish line kind of unsurprisingly also helps us to finish as well. So it helps us to keep going right at that final stretch. So I'll be honest with you, I've had a terrible week for sleep. Everything's gone out the window this week. So, you know, it started with a couple of just slightly later nights, like 20 minutes, not much. But then after that, you know, I go to bed 20 minutes later than I normally do. And then my mind is going, oh, it's late. I've got to get to sleep, got to get to sleep. And then I'm noticing I'm not sleeping. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's that human thing of like, when I know I have to sleep, I can't get to sleep, um, which is, you know, just ridiculous, but it happens. Um, and I, what I've noticed is there's a part of me that wants to say, oh, for goodness sake, Grace, you've been working at this for you know, five weeks now, or nearly six weeks. Like, you should have this licked by now. And there's a part of me that wants to say, oh, do you know what? Finish line's nearly there. You know, do you know what? That maybe this week doesn't matter. It's nearly over anyway. But what it reminds me of is also uh, a few, quite a few years ago now, when I went and did a 10K run, um, I remember halfway through, I actually stumbled and I twisted my ankle, but I carried on. And right towards the end, that ankle was really starting to hurt. And I knew that the minute I stopped, I'm not going to be able to carry on again. I was just running on pure adrenaline. Um, but because there was that finish line there, because I'd committed to running that 10k and I could see that finish line I knew where that was, I couldn't quite see it in sight, but obviously as I got nearer I did see it in sight, but I knew where that finish line was, and that was enough to keep me hobbling, keep me going to actually cross that finish line, and that felt amazing, that felt really good just to achieve that. Now my time wasn't great, um, in fact I, I still remember a friend of mine who's a really quick runner, um, was waiting for me at the finish line and he got cold waiting for me so he actually ran back and ran with me for the last I don't know couple of k um, so it wasn't you know that I was quick it wasn't my best run but I did it I finished and that's how I feel about this week that's how I feel about the finish line so even though this week I've had some terrible night's sleep this week I'm not going to hit my my goal of achieving eight hours but I damn it I will hit my goal of trying to get to sleep early every night 
even if I lie there for an hour and can't get to sleep, even if I have to get up later on and, and just, you know, try and kind of, you know, get, kind of get my brain, get all the stuff on my, my brain and actually get sleep, even if the results are I have a terrible night's sleep, damn it, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep trying until the end of this week. And you know what? After that finish line, the chances are I'm probably going to still want to work on my sleep. Um, and I think, yeah, that's the, the other thing about a finish line. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop after this. It can mean I'm going to stop after this. You, you totally have that choice. You have that, um, you know, it's up to you. It's completely up to you what you do after. But I think the beauty of having that, that set period where you go, I'm going to do this, is once you know you can do it, it's totally within your power to decide, do I want to keep going on with it? Do I want to set myself another goal? Do I want to change it slightly? Do I want to go, right, that's great, now I'm going to go back to how it was before? It's entirely up to you. And that's the beauty of having that defined period, having the 40 days of going, I'm going to give it a go for 40 days and see what happens. Um, if nothing else, I can prove to myself I can do it. So for the last three days, that's what I would like to um, leave you with and get you thinking about is your finish line. So um, how has your finish line helped you to get started? How is it helping you to finish? Um, and you know, where else can you use the beauty of a finish line to help you in your work, in your life in general? Let me know what that sparks for you. Let me know what you come up with. And also let me know what you're celebrating because I want to include your stories um, in our celebrate video in a couple of days time. See you soon.